Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. Now today I'm going to be showing you a fisheye lens effect in After Effects. Now just say for whatever reason you've recorded a video and you just want to basically add a fisheye effect to it. Maybe pretend that you've got the fisheye lens. I'll be showing you how to do this today. So to get this started you want to have your image or video in After Effects. And this is what the image looks like normally. So I'm just going to scale it down here so it fits the canvas. And you want to go to effects and presets. And, you want to go, and when it says contained, you want to type in warp. And you see under the distort property, you want to go to Bezier warp and apply it to the clip. Just drag it on. Now see that it brings up circles with different little crosses around the outside. We're going to be using the corner ones. So I'm going to start at the bottom left and I'm just going to drag it inwards. And you'll start to see the two lines either side of the circle. You want to try and get them as straight as you can. So for example, that's not straight, but I just want to get it straight. And that will do. Move on to the top left corner. Just drag it in so it's straight. Kind of rushing this. It's always best to take your time. Gives brings a much better outcome, but kind of pointless me spending it loads of time on it just for a tutorial because I feel just waste your guys time but there we go that's looking good select off that and there we go I'm going to change what oh yeah and then once you've done that if you go to the Bezier warp and you change the quality to 10 which is the highest that'll just basically improve the quality of it and I think it'll make it a bit smoother will it deny and just found this out yeah it does so hit that up to 10 and there we go that's looking good now just say you want to make it bigger or smaller in other words decrease or increase the amount of black sections that are around the clip you can just so basically have it selected zoom out and you can go to one of the squares in the corner and just drag it out and as you see there starts to increase or you can maybe have it so it's more circular so down to personal preference as you don't have to use this for skate like exactly skate videos you can just use it in general so that is looking good looking good yep by the way guys that's not me skating I just typed in skater on the internet and that's what it popped up with so I thought that'd be a good good image to work with and yeah okay that is, that's probably about it to be honest guys uh, please remember to comment rate and subscribe well Comment, like, and subscribe, I should say. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.